All right, owning a business, finding time to exercise regularly, right? It can be challenging for most anybody, but at 86 years old, a woman from Wilmington now making doing both really look easy. Yeah, in today's Get Fit with Six report, we catch up with Peggy O'Leary, who is an icon at her gym and hopes to inspire others, young and old. Usually I work out twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays evening, right after five o'clock in the evening. I ride my bike every day, my stationary bike, eight miles a day, but I kind of give myself six miles on the days that I work out, so. All right, so we're gonna do some dumbbell bench press. When Peggy O'Leary walked through the doors at Sunhouse Fitness, personal trainer Frank Prather had no idea what he was in for. And she said, it is my intention to live to 100, and I want to be just as mobile and fit now as I am. She said, I run my own company. And, you know, she really blew my mind with all the things that she was doing. Prather quickly came up with a routine he thought would be good for her. We need to strengthen all of the muscle groups um, individually and as a whole, while also giving her a little bit of conditioning and some functional exercise where she can continue to be strong in her day-to-day -day life. O'Leary stays busy, leads an active life, working and volunteering her time. So the last thing she wants is a bad fall. And at my age, balance is extremely important because your balance is not quite the same as it was when you were 30 years old. She knows uh, more than most people, that strength training is the closest thing to a fountain of youth um, and the number one method to maintain your quality of life. So we're going to do some tricep push downs. And that's what it's all about for O'Leary, feeling as young as she can for as long as she can. She says she will work through her aches and pains. Even though I've got a bad knee, I still keep going. Because she refuses to live the rest of her life just withering away. You have to keep moving. If you don't start, if you don't move, you stop. And then you all of a sudden melt into a chair or melt into something and you're, that's it. And most of the younger people in her gym want to be just like her someday. You look to Peggy and say, if I could do half of what she's doing when I reach that age, I'll have accomplished something phenomenal. There's no reason to now, besides her strength and energy, Peggy's personal trainer says the impressive thing about her is her dedication and consistency. She never misses a workout. Good for her. Re I know she was a joy to meet, um, really full of energy, excited about her workouts uh, every single day. We'll continue working as well. As you heard, she does run her own business. And, you know, I asked her her advice for other people because she has been active her whole life mm -hmm. in some form or fashion. At first carried around four kids <laughs> when they were little. But I have my 82 year old mother living with me. I will be showing her this story on the web later today. Good, yeah, because maybe she it needs that her. inspiration. Yeah, because she's just the opposite. She's like, oh, I'm, I'm in too much pain to be able to do anything. And so she's got to realize she's got to work through that pain in order to be able to make a difference. Well, what Peggy said um, was it, it, it's, it's great when you can find somebody you work well with, which, Absolutely. of course, is her personal right. trainer. Good yeah. for her. <laughs>